Nate McMillan called Victor Oladipo's return tonight perfect. Sure, we saw signs Oladipo's legs aren't all the way back yet. That's what 11 games off does. But there is plenty to jump into tonight outside of Oladipo's return. Thad Yun made Giannis Antetokounmpo miserable. Didn't look like he belonged on Olympus tonight. Midway through the first, Bogdanovich comes up firing, puts the Pacers up a quick 13. I know I was just giving Giannis a hard time, but the dude plays on a Nerf hoop every night. I don't even think I could do that on a Nerf hoop. That is emphatic. Only 14 points for him, though, a season low. 10 seconds left in the first half. Oladipo working in the lane, and he gets the kind roll. Pacers up 15 at the break. Back to Young. A season best, 25 points. And this baseline jam caps off a great night for him. One more look. Pacers take it, 113-97. It's been a wild ride for good friends Jonathan Schwind and Josh Bell, the first time All-Star from Pittsburgh. On Monday night, their paths will cross again in Cleveland for the 2019 Home Run Derby. It all started with the FaceTime call. Bell asked Jonathan to be the one to pitch to him in this year's Derby. The Colts have added a lot of defensive players this offseason, but for GM Chris Ballard, it's not just about adding new players, it's about keeping old ones as well. A player like Clayton Gathers, the safety who just signed a one-year deal. Now, Gathers has been in the league since 2015, but he's missed 26 games due to injury. Even though he hasn't been on the field a whole lot, He's already emerged as a leader in this Colts locker room. Fisher's own Brittany Kelly, a state champion at Hamilton Southeastern, followed by a career at Ball State where she dominated not one, but all four years of her collegiate career. Now, she's an instructor at Woodland Country Club, but the biggest surprise of her life just arrived. I called my family right away because they were all waiting to hear. So um, I gave them uh, the phone call. They are, they already had thought, oh, well, we, you're totally into it. They're, they're, you've got to be in. you got to be in. So I called them, and I almost had tears running down my face. For Brittany, next week's tournament is a childhood dream fulfilled. I've missed a bunch of cuts. I've lost tournaments by one shot. Um, and to finally realize that your dream's coming true, it, it, gives, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it, that it's, it's right around the corner. I get to live my dream, and uh, I couldn't be more excited. After putting together one of the most celebrated careers in Ball State women's golf history, Brittany Kelly is going to Chaska, Minnesota to compete at Hazeltine National one of the most storied courses in the Midwest. I don't want to go out there and just say, okay, I need to do this, I need to shoot this score. I need to, no, I'm, I want to enjoy the experience. I want to represent the PGA of America, represent Woodland Country Club, and represent myself the best I can. Brittany Kelly, living the dream and taking it all in one stroke at a time. Will Riddell, Wish TV News 8. Well, it's day 10 of Colts camp here at Graham Park, and Andrew Luck, he was nowhere to be seen. After missing both Wednesday and Thursday entirely, some believed he might be out here working with the offense, but still no luck. And according to Coach Reich, he's going to continue to sit out up to that preseason game against Buffalo. Are you freaking out? I'll tell you who's not. Coach Reich, his message to everyone, just chill out.